Hello! Um, I'm Shane, and um, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a new series. Um, some of you can probably already tell it's Tech It. Um, I've got my quarries here. But um, I'm just going to be showing you my world and hopefully doing some builds in it. So, I'm just going to show you my main factory. It's called Hypertech. I couldn't really think of anything else. Um, yeah, let's give you, I'll give you a quick flyover of everything. I have my cake factory. This is making cakes automatically. Um, I have my power station. That'll eventually be finished. I need to um, fill the uh, nuclear reactors. Fill them. I have my castle. This is for um, a lot of equivalent exchange and things like that. But I just quite like it. And I have my mansion, which I'm in currently uh, building in progress. But, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. So, I'll just give you a quick tour of everything. Let's go to the main factory. Um, this is the main um, factory that I've started on. Um, I did a lot of it in survival to start off with, and then I kind of got a bit bored, and just eventually just really wanted to make stuff. So, I obviously have more quarries here. Um, they're all finished now. Um, yeah. I have my first room. It's I just decided to kind of test out everything about the crops. So I have a lot of um, the farming stuff here. This room was for equivalent exchange. To, well, and then I made the uh, the castle that you can see behind this. And then you can see here is where uh, everything happens. Um, I have. Oh, let me just turn this down a little bit. It's still quite laggy. Let's keep it as short. Um, we'll keep his performance balanced. There we are. Okay, right. So I have everything. I had everything from the quarry coming through um, teleport pipe, and it came through here. I had all of the rubbish got um, turned into scrap and sent upstairs. Then I had all the ores come through and um, made into whatever it is uh, the bars and stuff to go upstairs. Here is where I made the solar panels or my factory. Um, kind of had uh, distribution pipes and I ratioed it out that I had um, two solar panels being made for every like few minutes um, yeah and I made solar panels I have my little power grid out here um, a different assortion of uh, solar panels I have some high some medium some low I have geothermal generators which are powered by uh, equivalent exchange And then we'll go upstairs. This is my floor where I'm stuck, where I saw everything. I can just go. Up. I've got my all my bars, all my gems, and then this is just the stuff that's come through the quarries and I haven't had time to sort out yet. Um, I'm in the process of looking at um, railcraft. I've just got all my tools. I've got I've got nano suit armor. Oh, I've got that legit. And I have my um my blaze crusher. Um, for you that for the use, for you that don't know, um, normally in normal Minecraft, if you um, uh, crush a blaze, it gives you um, two blaze powder. Um, but in Tech it, if you macerate it, it gives you five. So the three that it would normally give you send get sent into this one, this uh, chest. This makes bars and they get sent round. And for the other two dust, it gets sent into here, and it automatically makes diamonds for me. Which, yeah, I've got a lot of diamonds. <laughs> um, yeah, I, d I did enough, I think, to earn that. Everything else is made legit. Uh, all the scrap that I had from the quarry, I put it into these um, mass fabricators and making a lot of UU matter. On the next floor, I have my offices. Couldn't really think what else to put on these floors, so I just made offices. Um, just got my kind of mainframe, all the offices, the desks, some quite nice stuff. Same with all these, and then I just have my main office. This will this will be where I sit, but I don't really spend a lot of time in this factory anymore. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. And my top floor was my home. 
Uh, it's a bit bare. I have kind of a very small kitchen. Nothing really in it. And a bed. But, yeah, nothing really. And up here is just the, uh, the windmills. Let's go down. What's the bottom? So that is that. Uh, we'll have a look at the cake factory. Um, I do like the design for this. Uh, just base it on um, just um, what happens in Sipson's Gin's Tech It series. Um, yeah, I have my. I don't know, I'll just show it from the start. So here I have a lot of. Um, I think it's Red Power stuff um, with the filters and the uh, deployers. Um, milking some cows. Give me buckets of milk. Being sent through, and then all the buckets of milk get sent upstairs. Here I have a chicken farm. A lot of chickens are escaping, but um, a lot of transposers on the floor picking up the uh, the eggs that the chickens drop. All the eggs are being pumped through, and then upstairs. Here I have a sugar cane farm with block breakers so when the uh, sugar cane grows to the certain height like that um, it gets uh, destroyed and then sent round and here I have my wheat farm uh, I have a dark matter, dark matter pedestal here which is a uh, it makes wheat grow really fast um, so uh, yeah um, it's just um, Block breakers, no, not block breakers. These are deployers that deploy seeds when the um, the the wheat grows to a certain height. The uh, the ring makes it uh, pop up, and these transposers pick it up, and it all gets sucked through to here. I have a chicken in here. Uh, let's tell it today. There we are. Um, and then everything gets filtered, so all the uh, seeds go back round and back into the deployers to be uh, reused. I have a lot of seeds. Actually, I don't need to take some of that. I won't have any room for the wheat. There we are, that'll do. Let's just uh, delete some of the seeds. Why can't I delete? Oh well. Okay, and then all the uh, materials get set upstairs where uh, the sugar cane gets made into sugar. Hold on, I've got. I've got a full chest. Um, and then everything else, all the milk gets sent around to here. Um, they get put into that automatic crafting table there. And then they get filtered back downstairs, all the empty buckets get put downstairs. The rest of the materials come into the top here, mostly wheat. Sent around. And then I have um, cakes being made into gold nuggets. Just because I thought that was an easier way to set, set it. For every two gold nuggets, it's almost a cake. So yeah, that's like quite nice. So it's basically saying that uh, a gold nugget's worth a pound. Yeah. Um, go to my power station here. I have a large array upstairs of two different top solar panels. I have the um, the normal, I think it's in industrial craft solar panels there. And then I have the build craft ones there. Um, they generate loads of power. I think every one of these MFSUs is yeah full on power. And then I have behind these doors and reinforced stone and glass. I have my nuclear reactors, um, which I'm eventually going to fill, and that'll make me a bomb of power when I link all when I link this power station up with the rest of the. Uh, the city, when it's going to be. I have the power, uh, I have the uh, other solar panels upstairs, which give a lot, half this power, and the other half is by these uh, thermopiles here. And I have another uh, nuclear reactor there. And let's go over to the uh, equivalent exchange. This is my favourite building. It took me, I think, six hours to make in creative, but it was definitely a, a good, well-spent six hours. I based it on the uh, 
if anyone, if any of you have seen the uh, Lord of the Rings film, um, it's as a, uh, a an evil area in it called Isengard, and I just based it on that really, um, the outside. And here I have my uh, throne room. I can just sit and just fits the theme quite nicely. I have my uh, my smelting room and my, my nether portal. I have um, oh I have a uh, just piston doors, nothing really much. I have my uh, enchantment room and just a place for the nether warts to grow. I don't think it really does grow in the uh, overworld. You need to use a crop. I uh, have more smelting areas and more, you know, just storage. And up here, a lot of power. I have um, red, red matter um, s energy collectors. So they generate a, uh, a lot of power. And it's just the exact opposite over here. I think in here, is, yeah, it's making diamonds. So yeah, that's quite nice. And at the moment, I'm in the progress of uh, making a, a house, mansion, fort, whatever you want to call it, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to have some um, some big sliding doors um, that are activated by a computer. Maybe a little control station there, or a tower, or just something. Um, I haven't really done much. The only thing I have done is the uh, disco, which... Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. You flip the lever, and it turns into a disco. It's quite nice, and I have a uh, strobing lights up there, but they uh, they're quite laggy, so we don't really put them on. But yeah, the floor is a uh, really nice. Took a while to do, but yeah, definitely a good while spent. And upstairs, and just top floor is probably mainly going to be bedrooms and just game rooms and things like that. So, yeah. Um, this is one of my worlds. Um, this is the main world I'm in at the moment. I don't really tend to like um, going and putting thing, different things in different worlds because it just gets faffy and you know you, you want to keep everything that you like, like together in one world. So, yeah. Uh, my name's Shane and thank you for watching. Goodbye.